What up guys, so in this video I got a comment from a viewer asking can you show me how you do long exposure on a Nikon DSLR and it is pretty simple. Straight to the point, no fluff, if you want to shoot long exposure all you really need to do is you look here at your shutter speed and you want to make sure that there's these little marks here on the side instead of the normal 1 over 50th that you would usually see or 1 over 10 and what that is is 1 over 50th of a second. So how you engage this mode because if you're in normal manual mode and you keep turning the dial you won't have these two dashes here and what that is essentially is two seconds that's how long the shutter is going to be open. So it's really simple what you do is you go to your camera And you want to make sure it's in shutter priority mode. Not manual, not aperture, but shutter priority mode. Now what you're able to do is you're able to turn the dial here. As you can see, until it gets to the point where it's not over a fraction anymore. It's not 1 over 1.3, but you see it's 1.3 seconds, 2 seconds. And you can go and turn this dial all the way up to 30 seconds. That means when you press this button, the shutter is going to be open and it won't close until 30 seconds later. And that is how you shoot a long exposure. And the whole purpose of having long exposure photography is what you're doing is you're either taking a light subject and you're able to track it in its movement like a car in street photography or you can take things where it's you have no lights at all and you're in the dark and you're shooting night photography long exposure will brighten up the lights that are existing because it's taking in more light because the shutter is open for a longer period of time and that is essentially the basics of long exposure photography and now you know whether you have a Nikon D5500, D5600, D3000, D3400 it pretty much applies to any Nikon model all you got to do is, like I said, turn this bad boy here from manual to shutter priority. On the top, once it's at shutter priority, you should be able to see now that you can turn your dial here that usually controls your shutter all the way to 8 seconds now and you see the two dashes you press the shutter button and you you need to wait 8 seconds or whatever this the setting that you set on so you wait a bit and that's how you know you're on long exposure mode and here it click and then it'll process you an image but as you can see here since it's not nighttime the photo itself is way overexposed but what i can do to show you how long exposure works is I'm going to close the blinds and make it pretty dark. So if this was a normal camera and I shot this without long exposure mode, you would see that it is really grainy and you can't see a thing. But if I shoot this at three seconds in long exposure mode, you'll see what's going to be happening. And as you can see, you can't really see here on the camera, but it almost looks like it's properly exposed here. But in the reality is, this photo is actually pretty badly lit and you can't really see a thing. So that folks, that is how you do long exposure on a Nikon D5200, 5300, 55, 56, and all the 3000s and even 7000 models. And the cool thing about this is you can play around with it. Don't just be in a room. You literally have to go outside. Wait till it's dark and you can play a lot with long exposure. All you got to do is make sure you have one of these guys, like a tripod, because you can't move your camera or handhold it because it will capture your jitters and motion and get a lot of blur. So make sure you have a tripod when you do long exposure photography. And uh, that's how you do it. My name is Peter. You're watching a broke vision collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers.